objection. Okay, good morning, everyone. Thank you uh, for joining us today. We are already live on Facebook and uh, I welcome you all to this special, and I call it a special edition because of what we are going to be doing today. It's going to be um, learning about how we can, what we need to do when we are uh, doing our long reach business. Uh, once again, I thank Lydan Lapfeli for being our able trainer today. And we are just going to start. I am just, um, uh, just give me one minute. I can't see my, okay, yeah. So, um, my screen is sort of frozen. Okay, so before we start, I'm just going to quickly mention that we have a promo going on. So our promo is ending on the 14th of April. And this is just the information. If you buy two soap, you get one. You buy two SOD, you get one. And the sleeper nutrient, you get. You buy one, you get one free. And if you have anything up to 30 PV, you can see you get one randomly selected um, supplement. You buy 45 PV to 59, two bottles. And you buy 60 and above, you get three bottles of randomly selected products. So please, it's always good when you have a free gift, you can sell this free gift. Member's price for these uh, supplements is $39. So you can sell for any price and gain your money. So that is one of the reasons why you don't play with promo when promos are on. So I just wanted to say that. So tap in before that goes away. Now we are going to start and we are... I'm so excited because I know that what Lida Nathali has for us today is awesome. So over to you, Lida Nathali. Over to you. I am so excited. You are welcome. Lida Nathali. Oh, thank you so much, my <laughs> leaders. Welcome, everybody. I hope we are we are doing well. Yeah, it, it has been a hectic two weeks for me. From our previous session we had, I was for a week out of business because I had to attend to a, my father at home, 700 kilometers from my place. So I, I lost touch a bit uh, for a week because one day for me to not to touch my business is so, is so much for me to lose. But now imagine seven days out of touch with my business. I, I I was feeling like there's something going on in my in my head. I'm losing it because the place I was, there was no signal, no network. You struggle. The only thing you can get is a WhatsApp message. You can't even do a, a WhatsApp call. That is how terrible the network was in that area. So it's where I come from originally. So then staying there, it was yeah, it was a torture for me for that week. But yeah, I'm here, I'm back. I I believe I brought a, a also new strength because every time you go back to home, yeah, you come back and you are able to bounce <laughs> back very strong. So okay. I hope that I hope that I'm audible. And you can also those that are on Facebook, I, if you can hear me there, please put one 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 in the comments. And we are going to have a great time tonight. I don't know if a, a leader follow this is our second last or is it yeah i believe we have one more to go but you will tell me yes we have we have one more to go and it will be questions and answers and anything that you have just to wrap up so just one more to go yes great so i i that is what is in my mind say <laughs> yeah because you, you you have been keeping me for a long time i, I need to i wish i could keep you forever <laughs> i need to see as running. my trainer I need to be running somewhere. I need to be on the on the on the ground. So I know I don't want to be selfish. I, when I go to the ground, I I will be too much exhausted to have uh, to be awake this time of the night. So I will be because I go all out every time I do that. So yes, leaders, thank you so much for for coming. Those who are here for the first time, I would like you also to get the previous uh, 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 what trainings that we had where we went into the depth of our, our business, especially the compensation plan. I met someone yesterday, 
uh, is a, is a, she's a one of the pastors who is also in the business and she did a business long time and when we met yesterday to communicate i realized that she didn't really know what is maintenance bonus i said wow well, so how did you do the business in the past he said people told me this business they end so much but i've never ends anything and i've invested so much in this business i said you know about the maintenance bonus he said i don't know anything about it. i said yeah then we still have a long way to go so we need to understand the basics if we get the basics right there's no way we're going to fail we will if you get the basics correct even if you go at the slowest pace you go at the slowest pace that you can but you are going to the right direction you are going to reach where you're going but if you go fast but you are going to the wrong direction, you will not arrive where you want to go. So the first thing to do is to get your destination. Where do you want to go? And you plot that. In the military, we used to plot it. We used to have a map. We plot it and say, I want to go to this place. And you calculate the distance. Then you know how long it will take you to reach that position at what speed that you need to get to, to that area at the time that you are looking for. So that's what must happen also with your business. You need to know how, where are you going? Are you here temporary or you are still searching? Because people, they are, they are in this business, but they are not sure. So that's why tonight we are, going to, we are going to make that clear. We want to put a stamp on that to say, are you still looking for something else or did you find what you were looking for? Because if you are still looking, what we are doing here, it might not, it might not change anything in your business. But if you have found, you believe that this is the right platform for you, then for sure it is going to it is going to work for you. So uh, let me just do this. I am I am I am tempted today not to not to be on on what is this thing? Let me see. Not to be on on slideshow with you, but for you to for me to to look at your face because so that you can see the reaction also from from my face because that sometimes. Is what we like. When you have a screen share, you will see my picture is appearing shortly there in the corner. Some people cannot really uh, get the message. So I'm deciding today, you won't see my screen, you will see me. But I'm going to pass whatever that I have to deliver to you. Where I need to share, I will share with you uh, whatever that I need you to see. But for tonight, I will be off. I will be behind and you are going to see only my face and the presentation you are not going to be able to see. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Naftali Rancho all the way from South Africa in a city called Bloemfontein. And I've been in the military for the past 20 years. I have served, I've done my part there. I have served in the military in South Africa from 2003 until last year, uh, December, when uh, I had to terminate my service. Uh, not really voluntarily, but I had to. Otherwise, I was going to be fired. So, I had to get out before that happens, because God revealed it to me that you need to get out. But I was told that actually in 2010, that I need to change the way I was doing things because I was doing too good. So, but last year is the, the final time that I had to respond to the call. And I'm here, You are. It, I'm so grateful because now you have me. If I was still there, you were not gonna have me as you have me now. You can have me anytime you want me, you can get hold of me. So we are here and we have been uh, 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 given this mission to eradicate poverty all over the world. And we are going to work on that. My, my camera just is starting these own things, but don't, never mind. If you see it going on and off, is this laptop is, it can't keep up sometimes with my pace, but yeah, it will, it will have to be strong. So now today we, we, we decided to do something different to say, just to say how, can we make the best out of this business as, as distributors? So what is it that we need to do when we come on board or once we are on board for us to succeed in this business? So I've prepared a few things that we, is, I can call it a guide for you as a distributor to make sure that you get the best out of your business. So the, 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 the few points that I'm going to highlight to you today is four things that you need to get right. If you can get these four things correctly, you will never start in your business. The first one is your personal commitment. Your, your personal commitment. 
So how much are you committed to your business? I need you to, 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 to think about that. You can rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10, your commitment. How, 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 how committed are you? Just put it as a person now. You can even put it in the chart. From in, If you rate yourself, how committed are you regarding your business? If you put that, the comment. Then the second thing, your personal development. You, you, you to develop as a person. Are you getting better or are you in the same position or you are getting worse? Actually, there's two things. You either get better or you get worse. There is no neutral position in life. In life, you are either improving or you are getting worse. So think about that also because you need to, to be on the mode of developing yourself as a person for you to succeed in your business. Then the third thing, your personal branding. How, how much are you branding yourself? That, do people in your area know that you are, you are doing long-reach business? Or are you doing it in the dark? Because if you are doing it in the dark, then you are not doing justice to your business. So think about that. We're going to go more into those points. Then the last one that we're going to dwell in is your personal business understanding. Your personal business understanding. I put it here, I say A to Z. It means your A up to Z. You know, if you, you say A to Z, it means everything about your business. Can you stand in a, in a public space and speak about your business without having butterflies in your stomach? And open uh, the, the, the platform or the floor to say, ask me anything about my business. Are you able to do that? Because if that is not what you can do, then you need to work on that because you need to fix it. Because the sooner you fix that, then you are going to be able to see progress in your business. So let's go to the first point. We said personal development. I mean, commitment, personal commitment. So how committed are you? How much do you believe? I put a question here. How much do you believe? How much do you believe? Believe in what? In your company, long reach. How much do you believe? I said you use one to ten. So put it there in the comments. One to ten, how much do you believe in your company? Because that will determine the output or the, the input of your, your the, the, whatever you're going to put in, in your business. You are not going to be as afraid to put on your, 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 your clothing you're going to brand yourself or be able to wear the insignia of the company because you believe that even if someone could ask you on the street, oh, I see you are doing long reach. Is it still working? Then you're going to be able to answer. But if you are afraid even to put on the T-shirt or you don't even have a T-shirt, maybe, you are those people that say, no, I don't need long reach colors. So which colors do you need? If you don't need long reach colors, which colors are you, do you want to wear? Are you going to build your business in isolation? Are you going to expect that you are going to succeed in this business operating like a special forces or operating clandestine behind the scene? You don't want the people to know which company you are doing. If that is what you think, then you need to change that because it's not going gonna, it's not gonna to work for you. So you need to, to believe 100% in the company. 100, not 50%, 100, totality. So it means this company must be the only one that you say, I want to be part of this company if you are doing anything to do with network or multi-level marketing. Then once you embrace that and say, Long Reach is my company, take ownership because you are a distributor, but you are also a partner of Long Reach. So once you do that and take ownership, you will see there will be a change in your business. So the second thing that you need to believe in, how much do you believe in your products? The products we have in Long Reach, how much do you believe in them? Are you using them? Because your belief in the product, we see when you are not using something that is we have in Long Reach, you are buying it from somewhere else. If you are still using a toothpaste, 
that is not long reach toothpaste, but we have toothpaste in long reach. Then I give you zero already on that because you don't believe in your products. You do not believe. There is no product that we do not have in long reach. We can resolve any condition that we have, that someone have out there. So if you don't use the product, that is a sign that you didn't commit yourself yet to your, to your company. And if you don't understand your company, go and do research on that. I'm, actually, I'm going to give you today just a skeleton. I'm working on, on, on content modules, modules that I'm, I'm working on currently. I, I, I gave myself until the end of the month because there's a lot of research and a lot of uh, uh, work that must go into that. I'm going to create modules on video where you will be able to access that, but I'm going to talk about that later on. How are you going to access it once it is finalized? So, but you need to contact, remain in contact so that whenever I'm done, I will tell you where to access that. Then you can be able to go into more uh, uh, now toolbox, toolbox thing to know, okay, here is where I need to touch, this is what I need to do. Uh, then all those nitty critics, we're going to go into that. But I'm working on a, something for, for Long Reach Global. So now, once you start using the products, they will give you a story. Your products will give you the story to tell. And you are going to be able to sell any product. You can't sell what you don't use. You cannot. Go and research it in marketing. They will tell you that. You can't sell what you don't use. Now, the third thing I need you to believe. What are you believe? How much do you believe in your compensation plan? Compensation plan. How much do you believe in that? Do you believe that is the best in the world? Or do you think there's still something out there that is better? Because if you think there's still something out there that is better than what you have, then you are not going to benefit out of it. You're going to uh, treat it anyhow. So you need to make sure that you increase your belief in your compensation plan. But you can't believe in what you do not know. It means for you to believe in your compensation plan, you need to know what is inside there. You need to know what does that entail. But we have done a lot of training on that. If you still don't, don't know how it works, go back, go to my YouTube channel, go to Leader for Life. She's having also links of the previous sessions we had. Take them one by one, invest in understanding the compensation plan, and that will uplift your belief in order in this in this compensation plan and that will affect your business positive and the last thing that you need to believe in in terms of your commitment your how how much do you believe in yourself maybe you look and say ah you know the company is well i believe long reach has been here from 1986 and it is improving every day new things i was watching the video in nigeria uh, uh, and that was the when they were visiting the warehouse. It's, it's amazing. Not the warehouse, the manufacturing plant is amazing. I, I, I had goosebumps when, when I was watching that video. I said, wow, I need to visit that place in the next, in the next year or so. I have to go and, and put my feet there and take over because the Lord said, wherever you place your feet, say to Joshua, I have given you that place. So I need to get there also. I can't be in Long Beach, but I don't go to the manufacturing plant so then because you're gonna keep on thinking small if you don't see if you don't know what the company is all about so but the most thing that you can make a difference we have the same company which is long reach we have the same product globally we might have others that you don't have in your own market but our products are the same and we have the same compensation plan that's why they call it a global compensation plan but why is there other people that are making it and there is those that are not making it? The difference or the variable, it is yourself. How much do you believe in yourself? How much do you believe in yourself? So how do you know if you believe well in yourself? When you encounter a challenge, you start running to your sponsor or you contact your upline and you start looking for an answer, then it means you are not yet discovered who you are. Because what makes the difference in this business? You will not run this business like Vivian Mukome, for example. 
You will not run this business like me. But in your own unique way, you have a talent in your hands. Every one of us was born with a talent in our hands. And that talent, God has allowed you to be in long reach. And with that talent, you are, you are the only one that can run the business the way you are supposed to run it. But if you don't believe in that talent that you have, then you're going to be like that man who hides the talent and said to the master when he came back to, to, for them to account, and as he said, I knew you were a, a cruel man. You want to reap where you did not plant. And he was treated also like that because he already judged himself. So start now. Come out of your cocoon and start living. Stop living inside. Come out. Because the world wants to see your uniqueness. The world wants to discover the real you. Because that is what will connect with your people. Remember, you are not yet, we are not going to get everybody in your business. You are not going to attract everybody. You're going to attract your tribe. But your tribe wants to see the real you. Your tribe wants to see VSJ. In Africa, they say that. Who are you? That is what your tribe will be connected to. Maybe you are a person that is, your, your standards are very high. So people that are operating on a lower standard, you are not, they are not going to be attracted to you because they are going to be intimidated. But there are people out there that they operate also with the highest standard of discipline. Or whatever they do, they go all out. So once you come out and you become yourself and say, wow, I want to do what, because when you do what you are meant to do, there is no reason for you to rehearse. There is no reason for you to practice and say, no, I need to go to the gym. If you are a runner by, by nature, you just wake up and start running. There is no need for an effort there. It's like the fish when it is swimming in the water. Doesn't need to practice how I'm going to swim tomorrow. It just swims naturally. So that is what you need to become. Once you can discover that, so you need your personal commitment 100% with your company, number one. With your products, 100%. With your compensation plan, 100%. With yourself, 100%. So once that happens, then the magic will start to happen in your business. Remember, I said, you are the variable. You are the one that makes it. All these three, they are good. But without you, it's not going to work. So you need to be part of it. So that's why your 100% commitment on this fall will make a revolution in your business. So the change will come through you. So if there will be no change with your sponsor. Your upliner will not impact your business. You are the one that must impact it. So you need to start working on you before you work on, on your own business. I hope you are finding value. I hope that the message is getting in. I'm, I'm trying to be calm and collected and try to, 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 to make sure that I don't leave anything behind. Because when, when I was preparing for this during the week, under pressure, I, I had to pray and say, God, what am I going to say to these people? Because what, what I'm doing, I can't really say someone else can do it as I'm doing. But... Then now I had to come up with this and I, I believe that it's going to help somebody. I don't know who is that, but it should help somebody. This is what we are talking about. So we are done with the first one, personal commitment. Now we are going to the, the second thing, personal development. Personal development. Developing you as a person. So how far are you willing to go? That's a question I put there. How far are you willing to go? How far? How far? Not how fast, how far? Because how far it is, it is more stronger than how fast. Because fast, you can go fast, but you also end fast. You can take maybe one year. One year, then you are all out. Then you you, 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 you crash. But if you, you, you go far, you tell yourself, this is my retirement business. Or this is the business that will liberate my life. My family will bring, build a legacy for my family. So that is how far. I will build business until my last breath. There are people that said this in the past, that they are married to long reach forever. 
<laughs> but they are gone now. So uh, they were not they were not speaking the truth. So you can't lie to yourself if you if you are not going to commit to say I'm gonna go if if unless Long Reach closes in South Africa, then I will still be a member of Long Reach and I will do it every day as long as I am alive. So that is how far we need to develop ourselves. Because once we have that, once you for you to, to, to develop yourself as a person, you need to determine or to discover your purpose and also your passion. So your purpose of and your passion is the one that must drive you. You must want to understand why are you still alive today? Why are you still on the planet? What is it that you're supposed to do? So once that is discovered, it will fuel you, it will give you that fuel. Even when you get to a step where people are giving up, because they will give up. People will always come, people will go. But how are you going to remain or are you going to go with? Is this your last session or are you going to, we are going to show you, see you coming up? Because if you discover your purpose, this platform that we have, ladies and gentlemen, those that are, are people that believe in prayer, you should be praying for this business and you should be asking God, what is it that you want me to achieve through this business? Then that will show, once you, you can find that purpose, then I'm telling you, there will be no one that will teach you to do maintenance. There will be no one that will tell you that you need to use the toothpaste. You're going to clean up your, your, your own house from any uh, uh, unfamiliar or products that we, 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 we don't, we ha what we have in long reach, we don't, you won't buy it from another company. So that purpose and the passion will be the one that will keep you going forward. Now, also for you to, 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 to work on your personal development, to develop you as a person, the second thing you need to be aware of is your self-awareness. Your self-awareness. So how, where are you now? Where are you now in terms of your business? I remember when I started in this business in 2018, I, I used to be a very uh, self-contained person or someone that will not be outspoken. I will be preserving myself only speaking when there is a need to speak. I will not start a conversation. So, and as I, I started to work in this business, I realized that attitude will not take me anywhere because I will miss opportunities because I didn't speak to people. So then I started to work on that. And today, I, I my conversations on my phone, it is, I can say 90% of my conversations on my phone it will be about my business. I will not, if you can listen to my conversation, it will be business why I want it. Some people even ask me, do you have life when I'm like, why are you always talking about this? I said, this is, this is what I've, I've, I've practiced. Remember one thing you, you need to, whatever you need to master, you need to put time to it. A doctor is called a doctor because he has, he went to a university for that period, duration that he had. If he went for one year, he will not be uh, 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 having the full qualification. So then he can't say he's a good doctor because he will, he will only know maybe how to cut you, but he can't join you after that. So you can't be. So you need to be aware of where you are. Then you need to work on that to say, I need to improve everything. What is it that you're afraid, you afraid of? What, is, what are your challenges? What are the things that are, 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 are taking you off or are turning you off whenever you need to do your business? Once you identify them, then you are able to work on them. Now, there's also an, a next point, which is continuous learning. Once you get involved in personal development, learning is inevitable. So it doesn't matter if this session, we, we, we're going to have it. We have trainings of, this, of our business every day. You still go and show up because you learn every day. There was training going on in, in Ghana, in Ghana uh, uh, during the week. How many of that did you attend? Yeah, I remember there was one that I attended. It started at 11 p.m. and it finished at 1 a.m. I was, I, was, I was on that and I had to wake up 4 a.m. And I only slept for two hours. And I was, I was not myself on, I think it was Friday, uh, Thursday. Thursday, the whole day, I was not myself. 
I could not make it for the one of days they give it because I was exhausted. But that is what we need to do. When, when there's a training that must continue, you need to show up there. When there's a replay, because you could not attend the real training, you need to watch the replay. Make time for your business. Because once you make time for you to develop as a person, each and every day, all of us have 24 hours. So what are you doing with your 24 hours? Because if you don't, if you neglect developing you as a person, you are going to have a, a, a what, what can I say? You will die a premature death in your business because you are not going to make it. Now, the last thing on personal development, emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. Uh, many people, they when they come into this business, uh, they expect this business to be like an employment. You know, when you are at work, you are. I remember when when I was still in the military, we I I used to be in the leadership role. We will give orders. We call them orders, commands. We give a command because I was an officer then. We will give a command and it must be executed. So the subordinate it doesn't really have a way to question that. He just take it as it is already planned and he just go and execute. We already anticipated all what can come out as they're executing and they already know what to do when I, I encounter a problem. So now when you come into a business like Longridge, you arrive here, you have a sponsor who maybe is younger than you, for example. They register you in the business and they don't even know so much to develop you as a person. Now, you don't invest in developing yourself as a person. When you encounter a problem and you start taking things personal sometimes, because people are not going to always say yes when you tell them about your business. There's people that are going to are going to speak bad and they are going to make you angry. They are going to sometimes you will they will yeah you will call a client say I'm going coming to bring the product and when you are there the client will say I'm not available and you already drove uh, to that area. Now when you are there and you get angry now and say oh by the way forget about it I will never come again to drop off your products. You are not well emotional. So you need to work on your emotions because business and emotions do not go together business money and emotions those things you cannot you cannot work on those things together you need to decide you need to eliminate your emotions and be business minded and have that intelligence one thing i will do whenever i go to a place to go and meet a client i will strive not to have an appointment with one client that is what i will do to avoid myself getting angry so I will try to put up or to group my appointments at the same place. I will have several appointments in that area so that when I drive to that place and I don't get this one client, I get the next client. And if I don't get this client, I need to, to get someone there that I will need to sell that product if I don't get, get the client. So you need to be prepared emotionally so that you can be able to continue with your business. Don't take things personal. Because people, they have a life to live. They are not going to be there always when you want them to be there. You're going to have a meeting. You're going to have an arrange, arrange a presentation and say, we're going to have a presentation on this day. And you expect the turnout to be 100%. Then maybe the turnout becomes zero. So many people, they die in business because of that. They say, ah, it doesn't work because you have paid for a venue. You have paid thousands to book the venue and you, you invested so much into marketing. You advertise, you paid this, you did that. Then on that day, you are all set to say, let them come. I am ready. I'm on fire. Show up zero. Then your business collapse because of that. No, you need to go forward. You need to plant the seed. Whenever you plant the seed, some seed will not come up. It will be eaten by the birds. So you need to understand that in business, a seed that you have is having four choices that it can. It will either be eaten by the birds, it will fall by the wayside, it will not make it, it's not going to get to the soil, it will, it will maybe be on a rocky place, 
or it will be falling on the good soil. So that is emotional intelligence. Once you understand that, that no, it's not always going to be a tick. Somewhere I'm going to have a cross. But one thing I know I've discovered in life, if you are in, into personal development, even a cross is still for your good. Even a, a, a negative, it still makes you better because it gives you the skin of a crocodile. You are able after that to be able to press on because you have went through a disappointment. If you cannot bounce back from a disappointment, it means you lack emotional intelligence. So remember, personal development is a continuous journey. Continuous. Once you start, you are not, not going to stop. You will be stopped when you go to the grave. That is the only thing that must stop you. I hope value is, get, is being added. We are going to the third, third thing, which we said, personal branding. Personal branding. I love this session of tonight because I'm not overheating. It's because I'm trying to, to be as calm as, as I can. So are, you, are, we, are we learning, my leaders? I, can you put the 111 in the comments if you are, you are still following or you are asleep? 111 in the comments, please. Let's see. Yes, Maggie, I see. Salute. I see you. I see you, my leader. Yes, I see you. Uh, ah, great. Great thing. Silas, I see you. I see you. I see you, uh, Adeton. I see you, Carol. Wow, great. So let's go ahead. Uh, personal branding. Personal branding. There is a saying I, I, I have heard one day, and it, is, it inspired me so much. They said, when... When, when you don't market or you are running your business without branding yourself, you are like a young man who is in the dark and is busy winking his eye for a lady that is passing by. So the lady, is, she's passing, but she can't see what the guy is doing. So if you are not marketing, you are not branding yourself with your business, so you are like that young man who's in the dark, who's busy with an eye. Then you can't blame the lady that why the lady does not respond because he's not doing, he, yeah, he's doing well, he's working, but whatever he's doing, it's only him who knows what he's doing. So you can't be running your business like that. You need to come out and people need to see you. You need to show up one way or another. Being it in person as you're walking in the street, draw attention. Social media, use it there. Draw, there must be action there. People need to know, oh, this person is in business. You can't be having your profile picture on social media as a cat. And you say you are doing your business. Because people need to connect with the cat now. So please, if that is not sorted out on your social media, go ahead and get it sorted out. Your real picture, not a picture of you, uh, 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 maybe or, or somebody else with you. Because they don't know which one it is you. So they need to know, this is Naftali, when you open, you must see, here is the man. This is the one that, when you meet me in person, because that will help you. I remember at some, I think it was two years back, I was working in my town here in Bloemfontein, and a guy met me on, on the street. I was working with my wife, then he came to me and said, hey, Naftali, how are you? I looked at him and said, hey, who are, who are you? I didn't even know this gentleman. He said, no, I'm following you on Facebook. Where's the toothpaste? I said, wow. I don't have it. I didn't have products because I was going to fetch my car that went in for repairs. So now I, I was working. I came from a taxi just to walk there. Now I didn't. I said, no, I will bring you. I went, How many do you need? No, I said, I need three. I said, no, I will bring, I'll bring three, three for you. I said, no, just send me a message where, so that I can remember. Then he sent me a WhatsApp. Then I said, oh, no, here is this gentleman. Then that is what personal branding would do. Bring it when the people do not even know your face. Then you are just another scammer that is out there that do not want to show up even on video. So start appearing on video on your social media because that builds a, a, a brand around you. You become a brand. So the question I have with personal branding is, will you buy from yourself? Will you buy from yourself? Let's say you were you're having two characters. You are a salesperson and you also become the customer at the same time. Were you going to buy from yourself if you were, you, were to, you were to become a client? 
Because if you, you, you are not sure about that answer and say, no, maybe I will not buy, then you need to increase your personal branding. It means you are not, you are not well branded. You need to be a brand. You need to be a go-to person. When someone think about a long reach in your city, they must not have a competition in their mind. They must know that, yeah, leader of all is in Canada. When I think about long reach, in, when I get to Canada, I think about long reach, for lies here. They shouldn't be looking for someone to say, no, who is in Pretoria? Carol is here. Who is in Johannesburg? Maggie is in Johannesburg. That should be happening naturally. That means you have branded yourself. But if people must, must, think, must look, maybe when, even when they go on Google, they go and Google there and say, long reach distributor near me. You don't show up there. There is a problem. You need to work on that. So go and fix it. Go and fix it. Because when you brand yourself as a person, it is going to bring that differentiation. Differentiation. It means if there are 100 distributors in your city, why must people come and buy from you? Why? There should be something different about you. So that is what you need to work on. That's why I said, don't try to be Naftali. Don't try to be Megi. Don't try to be Fola. Don't try to be somebody else. Be yourself and brand yourself in line with your, with your purpose and your passion. And that will take you far. So you're gonna, you, you are always going to be unique in your business when you do that. So there's no need for you to feel a, a under pressure because you do something that it is actually coming out of you naturally. <clears throat> Sorry. And that will build credibility. If you brand yourself, it will build your credibility. When people, they look and say, okay, I'm here in Bloomfontein. They search and say, okay, let me see if there's any distributor, long reach distributor around near me. Because Google is clever. It makes things easy for us. Long reach distributor near me. And that distributor says, no, I'm not a person who likes to go online. I'm not a person of social media. So how will the people find you? How? How will the people find you? Because people are going to look for someone else who is far away and pay for Korea to get products while your products are expiring in your own house. That's the reality. So you need to build your brand because that will build up your credibility. And some people will find you from, and when, whenever they do even their normal search, just to look for, for information, you will appear there. And they will say, oh, this this." I want to hear about this. Now I see this person here. Let, then they will come and ask you about long reach. Because people sometimes don't want to join people that they, they do not meet in person because they are afraid. But once they see you as a brand passing there, they will stop you with the light as you are driving. Now, because you are that person that is always skeptical, say, hey, maybe they want to hijack me. Why are they, why are they following me? Stop and attend to the client because they are looking for you. They, they want to buy products. But you are always afraid. Why are you afraid? Why? So fix that problem of you being scared because you're going to miss clients. You run away from clients. You are looking for a police station to stop. <laughs> Something happened when I was driving home. Yeah, let me just, just take you off the, the point at least so that you can cool down and drink water. We we're driving. We left here in Bloomfontein uh, at 8. I think it was around 8 p.m. Uh, we drove. We were had to drive overnight because we could not sleep over while things were a, a tough at home. So we're driving. As we were passing uh, in Johannesburg, we were, were driving on the side of, of is it Ekulene? Yes, yeah, side of Niger. Uh, we, we were, I saw the lights at the back. They are flickering and there is the, it seems like it's the police. And then I'm, I'm driving. Then my wife said, hey, what, who's that? I said, no, I think it's the police. I said, no. Then she said, no, don't stop. Then we keep on driving. And uh, at some stage, I looked again. I said, no, let me stop and, and figure out. Uh, I, I should not be uh, be afraid. Let me see what is going to happen. And I stopped. They pulled off. Then they came and then they stopped behind me. They came with a lot of torches and then they are lighting in, in the car. They want to see what is going on there. Then I opened the window, relaxed and collected. I looked at them. Then they say, hey, you are driving during the night. Yeah, I said, yeah, it was early morning that time. I think that's 
around 2 a.m. or around 1, yeah, 1 a.m. And I was relaxed. Then they, they even light on my on the on the car magnet and they look there and say, hey, get uh, eradicate poverty or transform poverty and unemployment into prosperity. What is that? I said, no, I'm a businessman. Do you see what is happening? Even in the dark, they could spot that 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 branding there on my vehicle. So what, what is on your vehicle today? Maybe your vehicle is clean, but you say people don't, don't want to join your business. You don't know anybody. So start doing something about that. Put a magnet on your vehicle. When you want to go where you don't want people to know you're doing long reach, then you remove it. Then when you move where you know that, no, yeah, yeah, I want to do business, you put it on if you are that type of person. But you can't be doing your business the way you were doing it in the past. So now, once you build your credibility, you become now an opportunity magnet. People will be, will be connected to you. When you pass, people are going to see you. They are going to recognize, hey, there's someone that they just passed. There's something that I have read on that Facebook post. Let me connect with this person and understand what are they doing. Then they come to you. Now you are a magnet. A magnet does not stick to this clothing here. If I had can put a magnet now on this t-shirt or on my body, I put a magnet here. It's not going to stick there. It's going to fall down. It needs another magnet or it needs a steel. So once you become an opportunity magnet, then people are going to, you are going to attract the right people. The only those that are supposed to be with you, they are going to come to you. Everything else will pass by because it's not supposed to be everybody that you are getting. So you're going to get your tribe by default once you brand yourself. And that will give you a long-term success. When you invest in your personal branding, that will build your, your long-term success. But that's why I said on the previous one, how far are you willing to go? Because if you are going to go into personal branding, and you are going to change a company in the next 24 months, when people that saw you two years ago, they want to reach out to you today, they say, oh, I'm looking for a toothpaste. Now you say, uh, uh, because you don't have an answer. Now. So you see what you have done. Now. You have betrayed all that good work that you have done. So don't be like that. If you go in, you must know that I'm going in and I'm not going to get out. I'm going in all out. Or don't go in at all if that is who you are. You think that, no, I don't believe that this company will remain for a long time. So don't even go there. So make yourself a go-to, a go-to, a go-to regarding your business. So when people think about your area, they must know, you must come to the mind. When someone think about long reach in South Africa and they think about the compensation plan, I want them to think about me. That is why I'm investing in training people on compensation plan. So what is it that you are mastering? Get something that you are, you are good at and you invest everything on that. Stop going for different things. And attending different courses is good. But if you are not going to implement, stop attending courses because they are confusing you. So once you know your purpose and you, 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 you drive, you have that passion that drives you, then there's no need for you to take up courses anymore. I don't take courses anymore. I'm done taking courses because what I have learned now is time that I need to apply. You can't be on, in school forever. Then you're going to be a graduate that will be remaining jobless because you are too much qualified but you do not have that experience of implementing what you have learned so you need to learn something and go and implement because they say applied knowledge is power not only knowledge as people they say out there no knowledge is power what knowledge a doctor knows that he is if he smoke is going to die but he still smoke is that up is that knowledge power no because there's no wisdom there. So you need to be able to apply that knowledge that you've learned. And that is the only thing that will make you to be able to benefit out of that, what you have learned. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that I'm not I'm not speaking too uh, too harsh. I'm trying to uh, calm down. I'm trying to calm down. So let's go to the last one. We said it is personal business understanding, A to Z. Personal business understanding, A to Z. I put, I put the personal. Okay, if, if leader follow, you will attend those that are commenting as uh, we are still busy here. So I put everything personal because this has nothing to do with your with your with your sponsor or your upline. It has and also have nothing to do with your downlines or your success line. So this has nothing to do with that. This is your business and you have to take ownership of your business. You need to make sure that you understand your business A to Z. Once you understand that, then you are not going to take it personal and say, no, you know, I have a dirty team. You know, this team of mine, they don't even buy any product. They're just, they're dead. Really? Are you alive? Because if you say you have a dirty team, it means also you are, you are a dead leader. So you need to revive your team members. Revive them. Do you still have your, your WhatsApp group with your team? When was the last time you sent them a message? When was the last time you called them and find out if you are still doing well, my leader? As we normally say that. How are you doing today? No, we are fine. When they go through challenges, are you still able to connect with them? I was talking to someone today <clears throat> and I was saying that uh, there was a gentleman that we buried last, last month, <clears throat> the beginning of the month, last month. And he was working for an organization. And he died during, he got an accident while at work. And he, 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 he didn't die immediately. He came, the family had to go and fetch him from Peter Marisbeck. They brought him to Bloemfontein. And then by themselves, they, the employer did not bother. They brought him here. And the gentleman stayed for a month. The employer never went to see him in the house. And he passed on after a month. And the funeral went. We went for a funeral. It's about 100 kilos from Bloom. The employer did not go there. You know, there was one of the colleagues that came. They had to put sick leave for them to be on that funeral. <clears throat> one of them, when he spoke there, he said, you know, we are working for the devil. He said, these people, they only want us when we are alive. So that strike me inside to say, when I am having people working with me in the business, Am I only looking for them when I need to get paid, when I need PVs, or am I looking for them because we are in a business relationship? We are here to, when, when they need my voice, am I available? Am I able to sacrifice my time in order to attend to their matters? Or am I only looking for them because I need to eat? So we need to work on that. So that's why you as a person, with your business, you need to have, it must be a full-time commitment. They say when you treat your business as a hobby, it's going to pay you like a hobby. So you need to make sure that you treat your business as a business. So now, let's, let's, let's wrap it up. This will be quick. So allow yourself to become a master. Allow yourself to become a master. You, it, it needs time for you to master something. They say if you invest 18, hour, eight, 18 minutes every day in a subject, 18 minutes per day in a subject, you're going to become a master in that subject. You become an expert. Only 18 minutes. Not the whole day. 18 minutes. You say, I'm going to work on myself on this thing. Every day, 18 minutes. In, in no time, you'll find yourself, you're mastering that because you have invested time in it. So invest in becoming a master to understand, to master your company standards. What is the standards that Long Reach is operating on? Master that. Get to understand what are they expecting. When, when, what, what is it that the MD want to hear from people? Do they want to hear that Naftali is a stockist? He took my my proof of payment and he did not give me my products. Is that what they want to hear? No. So then you need to understand that. Okay, what is it that my company is is known for? Is it known for beds? 
or is it not for good? So how do they expect me as a distributor to be able to perform? So once you are able to understand that and you master it, then you are able to do well. It's like when you, when you master what is the will of God for your life, then you are able to know, okay, God will not take this excuse from me. He might take it from somebody else, but he will not take it from me. Then you are able to perform according to the standard. Anything that you don't know the standard that you need to perform on, you will, you will do it just anyhow. That's why they say if you aim at nothing, you are always on target. So you need to have a target that I need to aim on. I need to hit right there. Then you should aim. Then if you miss, you know, hey, I, I missed. I'm supposed to hit here. So you need to have, understand the standard that the company is expecting us as distributor to, to, to perform. So go and read the company policy again. You still have it. You should be. If you don't have Register a new account. You will find it there when you log in for the first time. Download that. Take time to read it and understand what it says so that you don't get yourself after you have invested your time, your effort to you brand yourself, you develop yourself, then you get your membership being suspended. Then you start crying and say, no, long reach is unfair. No, long reach is doing that. Because long reach policy is very, very strict. You can't be selling long reach and you go and sell another product. You can't. You are going to be, especially if it is a network marketing, multi-level marketing something, you are going to get your account uh, blacklisted and you can't get it un unlocked. So make sure that you don't step onto those. Get yourself to master the products. You must master the utilization of the products. You need to know if I have this problem, what product do I need? Become a, become a product specialist. We have, we have courses being presented. Lida Pulani, she's, she's investing a time in order to train us about the products. Did you bother to attend those trainings? We have those trainings loaded on, 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 on Facebook page, Long Reach TV Network. There's so much training there. Did you visit that Long Reach page to go and check those products? Maybe you don't have time for that but you are expecting to be paid. So will you pay yourself if you were such a distributor and you don't even know what products is, is suitable for asthmatic, uh, asthmatic patients? You don't know that. You don't have even our, our prescription list of 19 pages. You don't have that, but you are in business. So you need to start working on that. Get to understand. I'm not saying you're going to get this right in one day. I still ask. <laughs> I still ask. I call. I call. God and say, hey, coach, please. I, I have this here. Can you help? But I can't ask her every day the same thing. Because that is irritating. If, if she tells me once, you need that. You need, before you use the supplement, you must detox. I can't ask her again tomorrow. I have this client that needs Libao. Must I sell the brown tea also to her? That should be logic. I should be able to apply what I what she told me. Then that will not make her when I call again and say, you know, this one is going to waste my time. There are people that you don't want to take their calls anymore because whenever they call you, you know they're going to ask you a price of a toothpaste. But he's having the price list. He doesn't want to look there. So you can't be that type of distributor and expect that you are going to make it in the business. So you need to work on that if you if, if you want to take your business to another level. Master the compensation plan. I know we avoid this all the time. We don't want to understand the numbers. There are people that will come to the business and they want to understand the compensation plan. If you can't convince them with the compensation plan, they're going to leave you and they're going to look for somebody else. So you need to understand that so that you don't lose your, 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 your great clients because you can't explain how to get paid every week, every week, how to get paid every week. Then they say, no, register three people, then you're going to get paid so much. Who told you that? Go to the compensation plan and read which type of bonus can someone earn weekly and put it the way the best, the way the company says that for you to earn this bonus, you need to meet the following criteria. Don't give a quick answer. You can't explain a compensation plan in five minutes. You cannot. So you must send that person a, a link 
and say, my friend, you want to understand this? You say, yes. Here's the link. Go and watch this video. Let's talk tomorrow. When, after you, when can you watch it? No, I can watch it tonight. Okay. Here's the link. Watch the, the video. Tomorrow morning, we are, going to, we are going to discuss that video. If you have any questions, then you don't need to be doing this by yourself. Use the tools that you have. But you need to understand what is in that video yourself. Because if you don't understand, they will watch. And when they come back to you tomorrow and say, let's discuss. Then you want to call Maggie now. Maggie, what did you say maintenance bonus is? How much is it? Is it still 4.5? Okay, is it is it still going to be a 10, 10, 10 rents for 1 PV in South Africa? Imagine that. Now you, the client is waiting. We are so fortunate because most of the people that ask us questions, they are far away. We are able to delay sometimes and say, I'm, I, will, I will get back to you. Then you, you are still asking this side. If you meet that person face to face, there are people that will sign up. They say to you, I want us to meet. I want us to go and meet at this place face to face to sit and look at each other in the face. And then if they ask you that question there, are you going to call Maggie that time? Are you going to call Carol? Are you going to call a, a, a father and say, hey, my leader? No, you need to answer. So that's why I say you need to allow yourself to master that, the compensation plan, because it will save yourself out of the, all the trouble and the embarrassment also. Now, the last one on the building a, a, a personal business understanding A to Z. Allow yourself to master yourself. Yeah, now you say, hey, what is he saying? Allow yourself to master yourself. How do you master yourself? You know, when, when we know where we want to go, we use our mind. That is our mind telling us, Naftali, you need to work this business to reach that level to eradicate the poverty in Africa, in South Africa and globally. That is a vision that you have. Okay, I want to get there. Tomorrow when you wake up, you say, I, no, I have, I'm not feeling well today. I have, a, I suppose to Monday or Thursday next week, I have a workshop. Monday morning, I told myself already from Monday, Tuesday, I will, and Wednesday, I will be working around that area, calling people, telling them about the workshop. Now, Monday morning, I wake up and Ish, I don't feel good. Tomorrow. Then I, no, I'm not going. What is that? You are not mastering yourself. So you need to master. If you put something that must happen, you say, I'm going to do this on Monday, Tuesday, I'm going to do this, Wednesday, I'm going to do this. You need to show up, my leader. You need to show up. There's no excuse that must come up there and say, no, no. Otherwise, don't make that commitment. Don't say you're going to do that. Because there are people or they, when, when you pray for your business and say, I want to take this business from here to that level. When you do that in the spirit, there is processes that are happening there. And there is alignment that happens. Now, you said on Monday at 8 o'clock, I will stand in that corner for an hour or two hours. I will stand there and talk to people. But on, on, on Monday morning, you wake up and say, no, no, I will go 3 o'clock. Then people will pass 8 o'clock there. You are not there. You didn't show up. When you go 3 o'clock, your angel is gone. It went back with your blessing. You have missed your appointment. So please, master yourself. You need to tell yourself sometimes. You need to tell yourself sometimes. Just shut up. Because if you listen to your heart, you will never do your business. Because you'll wake up. Winter is coming now in South Africa. There's people already saying, oh, Ooh, this winter it seems like it's going to be cold. So so what? Why when you go to Bus John, your, your employer, even in the coldest weather, you still show up? 
put that excuse of it is going to be cold, put it to your employer and see if it's going to pay you once then. You won't take that excuse. So your business is a wheelbarrow. It's a wheelbarrow, your business. You are the one that needs to push it. It will only move when you do. If you don't move you, with your wheelbarrow, you can pick it up. If you are not going to push it, it's going to stand with you there. When you are tired to put it down, you are still at the same place. So it will only move forward when you decide that I am going to move forward as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that I have done justice or that what I had to do, I had to do. So I have this here. This is my, my pamphlet that I have made. I have about 400 of this I made last week. So this, I don't know how many, how many I've done already. I, I, I'm giving out. Whenever someone asks me a question, hey, I see your car is written like this. What is that? I give them a small pamphlet. So this one is for, for the mission I have to eradicate the poverty in the whole world. I have a, a pamphlet here. So this is special for that. It's my general poster that I use wherever I go. I still have my events posters that I make. But I keep uh, this one, the event one, I only keep it soft copy to share on social media. This one is hard copy. It is hard copy with me. So go and do something like this for yourself. Because there's people that do not have WhatsApp. There's people without WhatsApp. Now, when you meet them out there and they're asking you information, what are you going to do? What are you going to give them? If, if, if you can't do this, then you can also go and do your business card. Do you have a business card? Where is your business card for your, for your business? Because the business owners or business people are supposed to have business card. Your number must appear there. People need to know when you meet them in a hurry or you are sitting there in the, in the flight, you are flying somewhere and you are sitting next to this person here, you look, you say, by the way, which, where, where are you going? Then you start the conversation. Then you say, can I please give you my business card? Then the person also is, oh, this, man, this is a business owner. Then you are a professional. Then you are, it means you are branding yourself. Then you don't even need to tell who are you because they can see your name on your business card. So then that will build also that credibility. Someone will say, oh, this is a serious person. It means I need to also have my business card. So go and look at the, for that. This is, these things will do it very cheap. There's no... It's, these are not expensive. You go on your Canva. Canva is a, is, a, is, a, is an app that you can download. You can create this for yourself. You don't need to pay for this. You, you create it yourself. You go to your local place where they print, and they print it for you. If you can't do that, then get someone to do it for you, and you pay. But it's, it's, this is worth doing for your business because it's a material that you need to have all the time. When you can't speak to somebody, you are in a hurry. You give them the card. Say, please, can you send me a message here? Yeah? I'll talk to you as soon as I get where I'm going. Then you have left. You have planted the seed. So you need to keep on planting the seed because you do not know which seed is going to bring forth the result. Morning and evening, plant your seed. Nida Fola, thank you so much. I hope that yeah, people are still here. I can see now everybody is still here. So thank you so much, Palida. I hope I have, I have spoken what I had to do. So I've wow. delivered everything. Nothing left. <laughs> wow you have you have delivered everything and it is so powerful uh sometimes when you have to do something like this you have to say it anyhow it is people should not take it because if you are taking it negatively then you are not ready to have a a rethink of your business you are not yeah so thank you thank you so much had there was a lot to think about i i was thinking about it especially the branding and even all the courses that we've attended in the past they have always said it you need to brand yourself that is the only way that people can know you and know your business there there, there was something you touched on mm. which reminded me of something that i have i mean I also have different flyers that I've made. 
I yes. had the brochure, I have the uh, three. Canva is something that everybody needs to try their hands on. Yes. You you actually yeah, you actually need it and you need to pay money to be able to do something. So if you use the free, you go to your local printer and you would get something. I have a long reach um, because you mentioned the, the magnet thing. I have yeah. a, a, a long reach magnet thing. I've been so afraid to put it on my car because I think it will fall off. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I haven't used it. And as you were talking, I was like, okay, I have a mechanic friend in my church and I'm going to take it to my church tomorrow to say, I have this thing. If I put it on, is it going to fly off? If it says no, or if it tells me what to do. So yeah, so this kind of training enlightens you. It opens your mind to so many things that either you have not been doing before or you have been doing. So thank you so much. It's been awesome. People are saying, okay, it's awesome. So please, if you have questions, we only have uh, on what he has said today. If there's something that is not clear on what he has said today, please ask your questions. And if you can't remember or you are not sure, put your questions down because the next two weeks will be our final time with Leda Naftali. And we have all the we have all the recordings. So maybe what I will do is after the last webinar, and I send the uh, recording of that last webinar, maybe like a week or two after, maybe a week or two after, I think I'll send all the recordings in one go. Just send it to all the platforms like that. It is now left to you. Leda Naftali has done his part. It is now left to you to do your part if you are really willing to take this long reach business to the next level. So, if you have any questions, let me see. Uh, let me see if I would, uh, if I can allow everybody to unmute. If you want to talk, please unmute <coughs> yourself. Okay, I've made it possible for you to unmute yourself. So, unmute yourself if you have any question, Lida Naftali. There are so many. Emojis of fire, fire, fire. I know it's hot. It's really hot. Thank you so much for, for this one. Do we have any question? Anybody here who has a question? Anything that is not clear for anyone here? Nida Lafter, you know the way you present, it's yeah. so clear to everybody that there is, there is no ambiguity in any way you present. You just say it. So whoever is hearing it, we just catch it like that. So I won't be surprised if there, if there are no questions, but if you have questions, please, can you just raise your hand or can you just unmute or mute and ask or, your question? Or, or, or challenges, challenges that maybe one is facing. Exactly, yeah. exactly. On this session, we can we can try to clear that. Maybe there's yeah. something that you, you, in your business, you are not sure about. You are, I remember when I, when I first, my first time I went to, to my work, with yeah, joke will will we'll bring it on now. When, the first time I went to work with my with my car magnet, uh, I was still yeah. It was I think it was in 20, 20, 2018, towards the end of the year. And when I drove in, and and people were looking at my car. When I parked at my parking, one one of them came to me and said, "You are not supposed to advertise your business within a work 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 environment." And, you were still in active service. Yeah, I was. I was. I was still full time as a as a military official. Now, I had to respond on the spot because this is a decision moment. I said to him, "So where must I park my vehicle? I work here, and uh, this car is mine. It's not the military vehicle. So it's my vehicle. So I should have right to what I put on my car." So if the problem is my vehicle in the in the premises, I can actually park it outside on the street. I can leave it there. But at least there and now I will have more people seeing it than when it is here. Then that was the last time somebody asked me about uh, you because you cannot do this. And sometimes the fear stop us to do what we need to do. So we know what we have to do. But there's that element of saying, what will the people think? Listen, people always think, even if you are doing nothing, they are already thinking and they are still going to speak about you even if you are doing nothing. 
Joke, I think let's let's give Joke a chance. Yeah, Joke, Joke, go ahead. I'll start another session. I'll start another session. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Joke, go ahead. Or mute yourself. Great stuff. Joke, can you unmute yourself? I think I've allowed everybody yeah, to be able to unmute. Yeah, unmuted already. Just to, be, to speak now. Okay. Joke, are you there? We can't hear you. Are you talking? I think there's a problem. No, the we can't hear you. Off. You need to increase the volume of your increase the volume of your set of your laptop or phone. Is it still there? I don't think it's there. Maybe it's the hand is up by mistake. No, I don't. I don't think so. She's uh, she's one of our leaders in the group, so she oh, she's a she's a stockist. Speak. Yeah, so she knows. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Gujoka, when you are ready, you can uh, start talking. We can't hear you. Yeah. yeah. If there you is know, anybody one, else. One, one challenge, one challenge that I have here, that yeah. I'm still trying to overcome. I think she will. Yeah, yeah she will come back. Gujoka, are you ready? Okay. One challenge that I have, you know, and I was still talking to somebody about it. Um, uh, one long rich member came to buy from me yesterday and we were still talking about it is that, you know, in this part of the world, because of the rules and everything that, that we have here, it's really so difficult to, you know, go anywhere, stand at the corner of anywhere, start talking or take your car somewhere, you know, open the boot and start talking. You know, it's, it's so difficult. Uh, some time ago, I tried to uh, get to our city of Edmonton to find out, you know, all these permits and what I can do. By the time they slammed me with the amount that I had to pay mm. to do all that, I was just like, you know what, I need other options. <laughs> I need other options to be able to do that. But, they, but that chapter is still not closed for me because yes. I'm still looking at, okay, what can I do? Where can I? So it's like when you see an obstacle in one place, mm. don't just shut it off. There are always ways in which when you talk to people, you can always overcome it. And that is one of the things that I found in this part of the world that or like where it is in Africa that you can go anywhere, just park, even at any event park, open your boots. It's so totally different from here. But we will get it. Yes, it's always... it true. Yeah. Remember, remember, leader for us, sometimes you, you find that uh, there is place that like exhibition areas that 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 they will have an open market something like that so things like that you need to capitalize on them because we if, can't do it here well it's not allowed today yeah you know you have to get a permit no i mean the, the, let, let's say there's a shopping mall or or, or people there that they're, they're opening it they say they're no. not doing it no you have to get a permit to do that <laughs> Yeah, then, then your market is, but, but there's a way to deal with that market. That is That's why I say I'm still asking because you need yes. a permit. You cannot do that. You'll be violating so many uh, orders. No. Yes. Okay. So you say, and then when you, when you now get, when they told me how much I'll be paying, I was ah. like, how much will I make to be able yes. to, to get that? So yes. yeah, yes. so that is it. But I'm still not closing the chapter. Then, I'm then not closing media, it. I'm still looking. Social, social media, my leader, you get behind you have to get inside the houses through social media, penetrate through that market. Then you, there's no way they can stop you once you have decided. Yeah. Okay, good job. Go oh. ahead. I think I have. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Well done, mm -hmm. Lida Naftali. Thank you so much. I hope you can you. hear me now. Yeah. I yeah, can now, hear you. Now yeah. Here. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> It's been an interesting session. Actually, none of your sessions are, are always, I mean, I've been so, has been boring. So, and I'm sure that everyone on this call is always looking up to the time you will come up to give us some uh, energy. Even the way you do the presentation, you energize us a lot. One can never be tired of it. Thanks so much. I like yeah. that. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. You have taken us through a, 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 a process that... Uh, will not only be applicable to long reach, yes. long reach business, but to our lives. Yes. I always, I always look at it from that angle. And uh, in the in the course of this 
lecture, you you listed some stages. But the what I really want to, to do now is just to be able to, so that we'll be sure that we are on the right path. How do we measure success? After following through all the all what you have said, yeah, for us to be able to know that we are on the right path, or we are not, we have not really, I mean, cut off a process in the course of doing what you implore us to do. How do we measure success? So maybe you can just give give us a hint on yeah. what to do so that we our mind can be at rest that we are on the right path. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you so much, my leader. I I I, I appreciate that uh, feedback and also uh, success. What does it mean to different people? Because success is is not is not a, 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 it's not a, a, a collective matter. It is independent or it is based on individuals. There's people that join Long Reach and. Uh, the only thing they need to do is to put put on is to put food on the table, and for that person succeeding will be, I managed to put food on the table, so that will be how that person will say, I have managed to make it. But the, there is people once you know what you want, and then you start projecting yourself in that line, so you should be having progress, and you will see that am I. Am I improving or am I getting worse? So, so success in this business, the money part that people are looking for, that is the last thing. It is the last one. It's the one of the least actually of, of our problems. The greatest success you will measure yourself in this business is your personal development. When you start to, 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 to realize a new, a new you, a new person in you, that is what I will call success. Because if even if you lose your whole team, even if you lose your whole team, you can you can rebuild. You can lose everyone that you have in your business. If you are aware yourself as a person, developed to the full potential, you are able to rebuild everything. Because there are people that are not willing to do that. There are people that became star directors and they left the business. If they have to start again now, they come back and they have to restart. Some of them will not make it because they got there because they didn't know how they got there. You know, there's a saying, when you find the tortoise on the fence, one thing for sure, it did not get there by itself. Somebody put it there. So you can't be that type of a leader. You need to be a leader that knows I am not here by mistake or I, don't, I didn't get here by accident. I know how I got here. So... There should be a progress. You should be able to see a graph, a graph that goes together with, with your, with, as you are building. You say, okay, I used to struggle with this, but now it is no more happening. I used to struggle with videos. I used to have issues with going live. I used to struggle. I used to be afraid. I remember my first video I did when I was, I was doing video on, on Facebook. That time, the, I didn't even know the live. I, I, I had to record a video. I recorded then I, after that, I watch it, I delete it. I said, no, no, not this time. I, then I had to, to do another one. Then I, 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 will, I watch it again. Then I said, no, man, no, 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 the, the English here, it, is, it was not right. I delete again. Then I went. But today, if someone who watched me, they, they say, I was born doing videos. I said, no. What you see now is a, it's not even, I started this thing of, of doing videos. I think it's, it's not even five years. It's, it's, it's not a long time that I've started this, but I decided I'm going to work on this. I want to improve it because I know the difference that a video makes is huge. If you are going to build on online and you are, you are relying on a, on a post, on a post that you write the text on, you are not going to reach out to many people. Because people will not connect with you. Because remember, when someone put a, a, a post, you don't know who's typing that post. You don't know. It might be someone using my name and saying after Ranto, whatever, somewhere else where I don't know, and they type there. People that knows me, they know I am hardly on, on, on post. I don't put post. I put video. 
So how are you going to how are you going to really try to use my name to scam other people? It's difficult. You can't you can't do that. You have to try to take my video and try to change the content. It's gonna be a, be a lot of work to do. But if you're gonna rely on say no, I'm just going to be on the backspace. People do not need to see me. I'm working as a as a ninja behind. So you need to come out. You need to come out. So success, I would say, you measure it. You, you, that's why I said when we start, you need to check where you are. Awareness. You know that, okay, I am here. Shy person. Shy. I can't, I can't talk to people. Then you, you say, okay, let me work on this shyness. How to overcome shyness. Go on book on, on YouTube. Type there. How to overcome shyness. There's videos there. They will tell you. For you to overcome shyness, face your fears. Then you will say, oh, I need to face this when whenever you feel that you're gonna be shy, speak. Because when you speak, then that come goes out. Then the butterfly that was in your stomach it dies. Then that for me, it is success. It's not just about you making money because there are people that their, their business they had money that they made in Long Ridge, but their business is dead now. But we are still here. I haven't made millions in Long Ridge. But if if I can tell you, when you look at me and you go and check. In 2018, what I used to do on social media at that time, you check with what I'm doing now today. If you can't spot the difference, then it means there's a problem. But there need to be that progress, that movement, because you will you will attract more quality people as you are developing, as you are rising higher, higher, higher. Then they will, you know, I, I I was speaking to someone uh, just to just to put a stamp on what I'm saying now. As I'm doing my, my, my TikTok marketing now, listen, there's, there's someone I've registered during this, this week, 72 years old, 72 years old. This old man is, is a businessman. He said he has done so many businesses in the past. He's in, in KwaZulu-Natal, here yeah, in South Africa. So I didn't even know his background. He told me his story after I have registered. He said... I have been in so many businesses. I had to close some of the business. He opened up. I said, why are you telling me all these stories? But he looked, he saw the way that the level that I'm speaking on, he, he trusted me to be able to speak out. And that is what we need. When people start to connect with you, then they can, they can trust you. Then they will start to speak to you. And that is what we need. We need people to connect with you on a personal level. So that because you can't build business with strangers. This business, you need to become a family for you to build it. Because families, they care for each other. When you wake up in the morning and you, you normally greet this person, that day you greet is not, it's not answering. You pick up your call and say, Hey, are you doing well? You say, Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you for checking on me. Then something is clicking. Oh, this person he cares about me. So that for me, it is success. So I hope that I have, I have, uh, I have answered leader follow up because my answers are I'm answering like a politician sometimes because <laughs> I, I don't have a straight answer to just say straight point to point. I can't. I don't have such such answers. It's difficult. No, with the examples you have you have tried. You could okay. You just, you just need to answer. Has he answered your question? Yeah, okay. because I, I actually brought up that question. Because some people see the only thing that one can say as an achievement in this type of business is money. Yeah. That is the reason why I asked that question. Okay, and great. with what he, with the way he has analyzed it, at least he has opened our mind to the fact that changing from one state to the other is success. So we yes. should be able to appreciate that. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. And even you. in your in your current profession where you are. I remember my last days when, when I started investing on my personal development. Seniors at work, they could not, they could not reason with me. They would avoid me at all times because of the confidence that is was being built inside of me. Because once you become too much engaged in, in communication, it's a skill. Once you invest in that and you get too much. You are no more having that. You can speak on any topic. You can give me a topic now. I remember when I was doing some courses, they would say unprepared speech. They would say unprepared speech. They give you a topic. 
You stand in front of the class, they give you a topic, they say, speak on that topic for five minutes. I struggled with when I was starting up, when that when it was 2007, when I was still on doing that course. If they bring that topic today, the fall. Today, they say, stand in front of the class. Then I stand it's there. <laughs> they say, then they say, unprepared speech. Then they say, violence in taxi industry. Five minutes. Ha, I'm going to kill that topic. I can go for 10 minutes on that. So that is what, 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 what we need. So once you are developing as a person, then you become ah, you become unstoppable. You look at them. If they call you and you go to a place, you are just invited to, to be there. When you are there, they say, can you come and say something? You then say, who, who, what am I going to say? You stand up and you are, you are having your cool and you stand there. And they say, but where do you come from? This is not, I'm just here. Not prepared, but you are always ready for, for anything. So that's how we need to be in our business. And that, for me, is success. And the, that I did not get it from the military. I got it here in this industry. So that's why I can, I can give credit to this industry to say, the more trainings you attend, then that will unlock something here. And once that thing is unlocked, it can't be locked by anybody. Because it's just going to be, you just, sometimes even when you wake up in the morning, you just feel like going live on, on, on Facebook or on TikTok. Because you have so much that you want to talk, but you can't keep it, even yourself. Then you just start stalking. You say, hey, what is this person doing? That is the, 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 the benefits of personal development. And that will bring you a lot of money in future. Because you can end up becoming a speaker globally because of that. Not only for long reach, you might be called to come and speak at the, the event that you never thought that you could speak on just because you have started uh, working on yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lida Naftali. Um, if there is any other question, uh, just raise your hand. And I just want to buttress what you have said and another uh, question that uh, my friend, uh, Ibu Joke, has, uh, has just uh, spoken about. You see, um, we have a lot that we have gained, at least I have from what uh, leader Natalie has said too. I confirm that I have a lot that I have gained, especially being able to speak. Oh my gosh. When I started my Facebook Live, I would always have butterflies. It's like I go there and I practice, I practice before I come there. Now I just put on the camera and I start talking. I don't, look, I don't write anything down. I just start speaking. You will yes. get to that stage, but if you don't start, you will not get to that stage. Yes. And I used to be at the background. Yeah. I don't talk. People do all the talking. I do everything in the background because I was always very conscious. The day I made up my mind, and you know when you're speaking in, in the public, of course you're going to get jittery. Of yeah. course you're going to think, ah, maybe my English, my English is not good enough. I remember what you said in one of your... Um, um, Facebook, like you said, you your English is not perfect, but whatever it is, the minute you say that one out, hello, you've been liberated. If you like, blow, blow bullets. Just throw the bullets all over the place. I remember my leader is here. She's at work. She cannot talk. I remember one of our top leaders in Longridge. He was presenting something one day, and he was just shooting the bullets like that. And I was like, oh, my God, this person is just demolishing all the English. My friend said, but he's making the money. Yes. That was when my mind, I was just like, okay, true. You will hear the English. The next time he speaks it, you, you know it's coming. So you are, you are not bothered about it, but you get the benefit from it. So the minute I said it at one of my Facebook live, I said, I am coming. And if I blow bullets, that is your business. <laughs> I'm just going to say what I have to say. Seriously, yes. I got liberated that day. Even when I watch again and I say, eh, I said give instead of give. I, mean, I don't yeah. care. That is what <laughs> is holding a lot of you back. Because you think when you talk, your tenses will not be right. Say it. After a while, they get used to the, your, your, your tenses. They get used to that bullet, but they will extract what is important. And you will gain what you want to gain. If you don't say it, they will talk. If you say it, See how she's dressed. See how she's talking. But you are getting to some people who want to hear. So I know somebody is here. The only reason that you are not able to get online is that 
I'm not sure I can put my two English together, put it together the way you want. Yes. After yes. that, you will see that you just go there, you just do what you want to do, let anybody talk about your bullets, but you've been liberated and you will see a lot of improvement in your business. So I just wanted somebody to know about it. English may be our first language, but then the thing is that we all do, when you are in front of the camera, you will throw some bullet that you wonder, how did I manage to do this? But don't worry yourself. Once you can do that, you will see that you are able to get through. So thank you. I just wanted to tell somebody out there, you know you can do it. Just do it. Even if it's one minute, show your face, say something, go out, give yourself another five minutes, uh, another day, do a five minute thing. After a while, you'll be talking for, they will always want to even take the cam uh, the microphone away from you. Finally, let me also say something that you, you also mentioned. Yes. Like I said, I couldn't, I couldn't speak. Not that I couldn't speak, but I was always just behind the thing. I went for an event, a vendor event. Yeah. And after displaying our things, I didn't know we were going to talk. They were going to ask us to introduce the product or to introduce ourselves. I never knew about it. Fortunately, unfortunately, I was the first person. They said, oh, we have vendors here and whatever, whatever. Okay, we are going to call on the first vendor. I got up and I started talking. Before, I yeah. would... I my sentences will not be clear, but confidently I got up, I said everything, I made them laugh. When I was yeah. talking about the gentleman superior at the libido, they all laughed there. But I was able to do it. It is just the confidence from personal development in this language business. If you know your business, you know your products, even if you are talking about one, you will say it with confidence and they will know that yes, you know what you are doing. So thank you very much for that. Anybody else, nobody cares about your bullets. <laughs> As long as yeah. the message exactly people want Shooting to know bullets. what you have, yeah. But Shooting that is still bullets. what is keeping I'll other shoot. people, yeah. That is what is keeping other people from being liberated. But the minute you are liberate yourself, they, I will blow these bullets, but take what is important from it. They yes. will next time you talk, they want to take the, the important thing out of what you are saying, not the bullets. So, do we have any other question? Oh, okay, <laughs> Lina, Lina, Lina. Like, just, just one, one, one comment on that. You know, most people, they, they like to compare themselves to other people. And, and what does, that is doing is you always see yourself lacking. If, if you try to compare yourself with the next person, then you are going to rate, underrate yourself. Say, no, I'm not, I'm not good enough. That's good. So don't compare yourself with anybody. Compare yourself today with yourself yesterday. That will, that will make you, you're always going to be topic. You're always going to say, wow, I have done it better today. So that is what needs to happen. We should not be competing with anybody. We, I compete with myself yesterday. When, when, I, when you meet me again two weeks from now, I don't want to be at the same level where I am now. That is how I, I live. And you, you are never stressed when you live like that. You are never, never having any stress because you, you are not going to have pressure to say, hey, this person became a star director in three months and it took me four years to become a diamond four. You, it doesn't matter that because you are on your own race and your race is for you. And the, the very fact that it is hard, it is difficult, it is in your favor. Because when you have went over to the other side, you will be able to carry someone along and say, you know how hard it was for me? You know how difficult it was? Then you will be able to share the story. You know, you need to master your story. Once you can get your story right, why, where have you been? And why are you doing what you are doing? And where do you want to go? If you can get that story, that you will master it. You say the same thing every day. Success is inevitable. Amen. Thank you. Okay. Any other person before we, with that before we round up, I think I will just end my Facebook live. We can stop that yeah. share, but we are there, still. There's recording. no one on Facebook. There's no yeah. questions on. Facebook. There's no. There's no. Yeah. There's no. There's no question and uh, no question here too. Yes, our race is personal. What you need to do is challenge yourselves, challenge exactly. yourselves. And exactly. you can start doing that now. Start no. doing that now. 
Just watch other videos, watch Leader Nathalie's videos, just see, see how he's doing it, just for you to have an idea, not to compare to what he's doing, just for you yeah. to have an idea of, of what. And then if you have a topic, if you have a topic that is so close to your heart, start with that one, even if it's five minutes. You know, after Libda Naftali showed us his, um, his uh, uh, I mean, one of the trainings, and he showed us his TikTok. I had, I had something in my mind for a very long time that I wanted to do, and I wasn't sure, and I was thinking how, you know, because of that challenge, I do, I do, I go on Facebook now, I mean, on TikTok now, and I talk about what is passionate to me. And now it's so comfortable. Sometimes just three, four minutes, I say it and I'm out of the place. So you can start with that so that your face is out there. People want to see you. They want to connect with you because seeing is believing us. If you know, Lida Naftali said that he wants to see us to see his face. So you see how passionate, passionate he is. If we are looking at the slides, we will not see. In my language, they say, Ojulorowa. You know, the talking, the, 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 the crux of the thing is in seeing you and seeing that passion, which we have seen. So if you are on Facebook, on uh, TikTok or whatever, and you start talking about your products, people want to see you. They want to relate to you. And then it won't happen overnight. But over time, when they see the consistency, then they know how, how it is going. So if we don't have any questions, I'm just going to say thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, next, uh, let me... Um, there's something I want to talk about now before we go. Let me just quickly share share my I, screen. I see there's, yes. there's, a que there's a question here. In the okay. How did ah. you get over 1K followers? Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Francis, I see uh, it's very, very difficult question to answer because I got also, I got to become, and what is this thing? They call it what? Influencer, is it? Personal content creator or something on TikTok. I, I got there, but I don't know how I got there. Because one, yeah, I found myself, I found myself with one video I had, I had about 17,000 views with one video. So it just unlocked everything that is TikTok, all the limits of TikTok. I broke them in, in about 24 hours, just with, with one video. So I don't know how people just started following. So that's why now I'm moving towards, I think I'm over 5,000 followers now on, on TikTok. Every day is counting. And that's just within one, it's less than one year, right? Just about no, three, it's four less, months? It's less, it's less than two months. It's, it's, uh -huh. I started the 1st of February. I started working okay. on my TikTok. So it is now, I, yeah, I think now it's yeah, February. Yeah, we're now, I'm two months now uh, using that. But I'm just, I'm just, creating content i'm not doing content for people to like it that is one thing i mm -hmm. i moved out from likes i don't do content for the likes i don't do content for people to say ah oh, wow that was good i just speak i do what i have to do those who are connecting they will connect those who didn't like it they will they will still see it anyway so once you take that out, you know, when even when you're, when you're using social media, don't, don't be attached to likes because the content is going even if people don't like it. So you must go and check on your, on your analytics. Is they call it analytics or something like that. Mm, when, when you, you put a post, you'll see at the bottom, you'll say analytics of that post. If you click there, you will see there's people that see your content, but they don't, they don't click a like, they don't comment, they don't engage with your with your content but they still see it so once you you move you have you have a, something you have to say then you take that thing that you must say and you say it as loud as you can and you become consistent on that one topic tiktok is one platform that i attended one training on tiktok it was 3 a.m i had to wake up in the morning and attend that one training that was saying how do you actually a, a build your business on on TikTok because it's different from from Facebook and 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 the others because there it is more video orientated. There's not they can't read what you are, you are typing. You have to speak. So after I did that training, I recorded ten videos, ten because it, they said there in that training you need to create or to post three videos per day. 
three videos per day on TikTok if you want to if you want to see results. Three videos, 90 seconds maximum. 90 seconds, not 90 minutes. 90 seconds. So it means one minute, 30 seconds. So the, your video must not be longer than that. If it goes longer, people will not watch it until the end, then it's me. But don't say, don't restrict yourself. Put, put record. I recorded those videos wearing the same, same t-shirt. I just stop, put my thing there. I speak 90 seconds. I stop it. I recorded the second one. Different solution. I then I close. When you market on TikTok, you don't mention the name of your products. You just speak about your solutions of your products. Then you will see people they connect with the pain, especially the painful part. Touch the pain because when you speak about the pain, people they listen and say, what? what is he talking about? Then they start to pay attention there. Then you don't give them the solution there. Then you say, when you want the solution, come to my 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 WhatsApp. Then some they say, no, why you want us to, want to take us to your WhatsApp? You, then you, you deal with those. But don't delete comments, please. Don't delete comments. Negative comment or positive. TikTok take it as an engagement. They show your content to more people. So when someone comment negative, go and comment positive on that negative comment and say, I was just trying to help those that need help. If you don't need help, don't comment negative. Thank you for your comment. And you move on. I don't take it personal. Emotional intelligence. Spoke about that. So then you'll see once you engage with people like that, the same negative skeptical, because there's people that will be coming just to disrupt you. Just to make sure that you don't, they are the enemy of progress. Is the enemy of progress. So once they see you're moving, then they want to impede your, your progress. They want to slow you down. So don't allow that to happen. Create content. People watch it or not. They, I have videos that they have about 200 views. And I don't have a problem with that video. The same video with 200 views. The next moment you see it's having 2,000 views. And you say, oh, when did these people start liking the video now? Because people, they always search on, on TikTok. I say, what, what can I, what can, how can I solve something like this? Then your video will show up. But if you don't plant that seed there, when people are looking for that information, they will not find it. So if you are a person that likes to do makeups and all those things, talk about them. You are an exercise person. You are doing this aerobics. Do your aerobics there and show people that you can do the aerobics. Then you are teaching them. Okay, when you want to fix your stomach muscles, this is what you must do. Then you are doing that, those things because you are confident with that subject. Get something. You, everyone has something that they, they can do best. Then you start with that, that one thing. Work on it. Build that brand. Once you become that brand, then people start asking you, but what is he doing? He's always here on, on TikTok. When is he working? Where is he working? By the way. And you tell them, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a businessman. I'm doing, when you see me here, I'm, this is what I'm living for. I have all the time for myself. I don't report to anybody. Then they will start saying, what are you doing? Then you say, I am helping people to get well. Do you want to get well? Yes. So reach out to me. Then they then you start showing them your products. Then already they are they are, they are going to sign up. They they already they are convicted already that ah, this is the right person I need to get closer to. But if you just start selling, no, here is a toothpaste, you need to get it the toothpaste. No, you need to get it this. That doesn't work anymore. We, we tried that way of building business, it doesn't work. And pray for your business. Pray for wisdom. What? How do you run? How to run your business in your area? Because there are things that are applicable in your area that they are not applicable to me. So, but when you pray for your business, you're gonna get inspiration. And when the inspiration comes, please do it. Don't hold back and say no. What is the people going to say? Look, listen. People they will always speak, and they are speaking more when you are not succeeding. So when you succeed, then they will they will they will say, hey, but we don't we didn't like him, but he's doing well. His business is is flourishing. But what about if you don't if you don't do anything, then the story will not change. They will keep on saying you are not good. You are not good enough. So prove it that to them that you can do well. Then that that should be your motivation of doing everything. So my TikTok is moving. I just want to see in a year's time. I, I'm I'm looking at February 2025. That is my target. I want to see what is going to happen with my TikTok by then. 
because I'm not going to create another account. I will use the same one. That's why I make sure that I don't get my account banned because TikTok is very strict. It's not like Facebook. They are very strict there. They give you warnings if you do something that is against their community rules. They will send you a message and say, delete your video. Then you get it out. Then they say, okay, if you do it again, we're going to give you the final warning. You do it for the third time, we ban your account. So you need to understand the standards of this platform so that you don't break the, the rules. Because if you break the rules, you can build that massive account with one million uh, followers and you break the rules. Mm -hmm. Then they, they, they delete it once. Gone. Then you cry and say, no, this is unfair. Then you'll be like those that left long reach cry. No, I build a massive team. Now they block my account because he's selling another company products. But it, it is supposed to know that it's not allowed to do it. So let's understand the rules. Then we operate in line with the rules. Not to break them, but to know, okay, these are my limits. I need to stop here. Then, then I know that I'm safe. Otherwise, you're calling trouble for yourself. So, Lida Fola, thank you so much. I believe I, I have am, one question I, for you, I, just I, based on what you just said. No. So your Rantho solutions, the one that you talk about, the four pillars, and the one that you talk about, the Bible thing, is the same no. or is or is different TikTok? Different TikTok. It's different TikTok. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because I see, I see both, and I'm just like, okay. No, yeah. it's okay. different. The, the one, the one is mostly business. The one of four pillars is business. Yeah. And the other one is private. Okay, it's so the one you that have two I, different uh, names for, for yeah, those it's different two. names. The other one is just Naftali Ranto, the private one. And okay. the one that is solutions is the my business it's one. The it's business one. I'm, yeah, but I'm more on, on this business one. On this the business day. one, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm working more on it. But if you listen to the content, it is, it is still spiritual also yeah. on everything. But that one is mostly testimonial. The other one, mostly testimonial. Yeah. So I I'm not to do a lot of it. When I'm doing that one, there's no sweating. I'm I'm doing it relaxed. But on this one, I am I am I am fighting. Giving all the energy. <laughs> yeah, energy must be pushed left and right because people want to. Some people will only respond when they see you screaming. They say, "What is happening? Why is he screaming like that?" Then they say, "Well, let's listen what you have to say." But if you are coming there soft, then they pass and say, "No, this is not." I can't waste my time watching this. So you need to bring some energy there. Because people are negative today. The world is full of negativity. There's so many people are negative. So they want to, to relate with people that are, are having life. So you need to get yourself on video. Next time we have a session like this, I hope the next session, leader for please, you must announce it to everybody. When we come on the next session, we are all on video. We are all on video on the next one because it's Q&A, questions, and answer yes, so sir. that they must see these leaders on Facebook. That will help you to market your own business. Put your real names there on your on your on your video so that when we when you ask your question and we answer, people will people see, must see you. That will market your business. Only that, only to show up there. Maybe you are afraid to say, ah, now he's starting. No, we have to. We have to. We have to get you out of your cocoon by force. If you can't get out voluntarily. We have to break that thing and, and rip it off and take you out and put it on the stage and say, speak. So <laughs> next time we are all of us on video, we have to prepare. It's two weeks from now. So if we can do it, all of us, we can be on video. Then we relax. Nice. But be presentable because people are going to see that. When on Facebook, the only people on video, they appear on Facebook. So when you are your video is off and you are asking a question. They don't show your, your, your thing there because they don't they want people on video. So that will also help you to build your, your business. Then when you want to share with someone, you can even go and, and download that video. Just and crop your part. part, yeah. Crop that part that you were speaking and say, you see, I attend a global sessions. Then people will say, wow, I want to be like you. Then you see, you are starting to build your business slowly. You put one brick at the time so next time next ne last session we are all on video leader for how that day i think i will be standing i'll not be <laughs> because if you see, yeah when i'm sitting i'm i 
I'm more. You're relaxed. <laughs> I'm relaxed. I, I don't. I'm not sweating. I finish. I I supposed to have my cloth already wiping the, the sweat, <laughs> but I'm sitting. I'm I'm on on relaxed mode. So I I didn't. I don't think there's more questions. No, I don't I think, think there are, there are questions. Yeah, so you thank, can thank, unmute yourself. Say thank, thank you, you to Lida and Natalie. And, yeah, oh, I you know, no, I said I was going to. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I said I was going to show something very. Very oh, important, great. very important. Yes, ahead, very important. Let's, Please, let's sorry. Yeah. Um, people, uh, are people are still here. People are still here. Yeah. It will pay off. It will pay off. I'm telling it you. It will. It will. You stay here so, until now. You you receive a blessing. I'm telling you. You true. will have a global business. Because nothing nothing is lost. Even when we doing this uh, question and NASA and maybe saying yes. your personal experiences, people have one thing that they will gain. From exactly. it and it's going to change their business forever so yes. yeah so i just want to announce that we're going to be having in north america we're going to be having our sunny days uh uh may 11 i mean may yeah 11 to july 20th so you see that we have our last webinar with uh leader naftali april 20 and uh, this day i'll be on vacation so no webinar so as from may 11 to July 2020, we're going to have um, sunny days. So I'm going to be sending the flyers also to all the other platforms where I send all our webinar uh, information to. So please join us on this one. There is a lot that you're going to gain. There are so many speakers that will be coming. I think Lida Natalie has spoken on one of our um, webinars before, right, on these uh, sunny days. So we are going to be having different people. And when we come back on July 27, we are going to have social media training. Remember the last time there was a young man who was on the, he's on, he's on the webinar today too, um, leader Silas. He's in Ghana. He's going to be taking us on social media and we're going to have like three or four sessions. You need to understand your social media. He has gotten a, some accolades. He's going to tell you that on social media, some things that he has done on social media and he's got, gotten some certificates or something like that. So he's also in a very good place to teach us what we need to know. By force, by force, we must move our language business forward. We have to. So some things you do it gradually. Over time, you become an expert and you can move forward in, uh, in your language business. So that is what I just wanted to say. So get your questions and answers ready for April, April 20. And Lida Naftali will be good to trash all those all those questions. And then after that, you join our sunny days, and then we're going to have our social media training. So you can all unmute yourself and just thank Lida Naftali. You can send our information to people who you know in Canada who want to register. Let them know that we are here. We are you know, going to help. If you want somebody, if you have somebody that you want us to talk to, I am willing to talk to anybody on your behalf. So please remember that and we are good to go. So that is it for today. If you can unmute and just say thank you to Linda Laftali. Linda Laftali, thank you so much. I appreciate you all the time. God bless you and God increase your business and increase our own business too. Okay, unmute or send your emojis. I'm going to stop our recording now.